What's up, YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeatHead.com, and today we're going to go over some more spy tactics for e-com and Shopify. All right, welcome back. Please read the disclaimer. Anyway, uh, got a few spy tactics here. Wanted to show you. I was actually searching around for some products today to uh, start doing some testing on. And um, one of the things I like to look at is, uh, you know, AliExpress obviously is a nice place to start if you're looking for products. I uh, personally like to look in the, uh, the Facebook news feed here. I found, um, I found uh, a pretty cool product here in, uh, in searching in my Facebook news feed with the, uh, the trick I showed you guys as far as the, uh, you know, simulating a purchase. And uh, basically, this one here came up. It was like this blackhead vacuum type thing, and um, 802,000 views. And look at this engagement! Uh, insane amount of uh, comments and shares for 802k views. So this thing's getting a lot of traction. Uh, notice there's a Bitly link here. I pulled up the Bitly link, and uh, it, they've been running this for a while now. You're talking all the way back from June, and uh, they really scaled it up. It looks like in January, over 10,500 clicks. So far in February, almost 5,800 clicks. So they're they're on pace right now. It's only the 11th today. They're probably on pace to even beat January. So this product's selling right now, obviously. And uh, I went and looked at Ali. Um, this is the actual page on the customer or on the uh, site. And Comedone is a, um, it's funny, this E21, Elect21 is a Shopify store. I went ahead and uh, checked that. And um, they're selling this thing for like, you know, $49.99. You know, you know, nice, decent looking site here with some, you know, features and benefits and whatnot and uh, some reviews on the bottom. And um, I went over to AliExpress here and uh, noticed that you can buy this thing on Ali for around, you know, eight bucks roughly. OK. And I actually hit up my connection in, uh, in China to see if he can do even better than that. I'm guessing we can, especially if we buy a MOQ, a minimum order quantity. And, um, you know, do the math. I mean, you, you know, if we can get this thing somewhere around like six or seven bucks, six bucks probably, I'm going to guess, maybe even lower. And uh, they're selling it for forty nine ninety nine. There's a nice profit margin in there. Um, clearly enough to get this, uh, you know, make our own video here. I don't want to copy these guys. I might uh, take this video and test it with um, some low budgets just to see uh, how it converts. And uh, then I would you know, obviously make my own video and, you know, they got their own logo in here. So notice they put a watermark in here. So um, we, we just go ahead and have to make our own video and whatnot to get rid of that watermark. Uh, there's, there's ways to get rid of it without doing that, too. But um, if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to make your own video here, I would recommend modeling this one. Obviously, it's getting a lot of traction. Uh, the bit.ly link's showing good. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's one way. And I, I noticed on AliExpress here in my first method... Um, it was uh, look for orders under you know 200 orders, uh, under 200 orders here, and uh, basically this one here had uh, had uh, like a lot of listings, but like not a lot of orders. So most of likely, uh, who's ever running this thing, uh, notice here seven you know 331 orders. That's not that many really considering, uh, but it, it's worth a contact um, on this. And you know notice the reviews here. Order 61, not a lot. Um, you know, I scrolled down here and started looking at some of these other ones. Some of these have very low orders. Most likely, if they're really scaling this thing up, they're probably buying it uh, in bulk from right from a supplier, and they're probably bypassing Ali and shipping it over to a, a U.S. warehouse of some sort or a Chinese warehouse, and they're packaging it up over there and shipping it to ePack. It. That's my guess. This thing's small enough. We should be able to ship it ePack, pack it pretty easily. Uh, but uh, I think this might be a potential winner here. It's worth a test for sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, it, it kind of passes my, uh, my Ali test here, which was my number one point here. Look for products under 200 orders, scroll to the bottom, the product listing and, you know, check other sellers and whatnot. So, uh, again, keep in mind, AliExpress isn't necessarily the best, uh, way to find a winning product, but sometimes you can find a hidden gem, uh, in there. Uh, there's a lot of times these bigger, you know, e-com guys like myself and whatnot, we're going to buy in bulk and not going to be shipping through AliExpress. We're going to buy in quantity right from the supplier for a better price, okay? Uh, that's one of the um, the Shopify or e-com spy tactics. Uh, this is like part two of a series, okay? And uh, then we got another couple websites here. This one's called Taobao and another one's called 1688.com, okay? 
uh, both Chinese like uh, Alibaba, sort of, if you will. And they're a little bit hard to navigate because of they're, they're in Chinese. So that makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, I did go ahead and uh, and pull these up here. This one here is uh, ta Tabo, Tabao. I don't know how you pronounce that exactly. And it's a little bit of a pain in the neck to uh, um, navigate because you got to put in your phone number and then you get a code. And then once you get a code, then you're like into the website. You got to like sign up for it before you can start searching around, uh, which is kind of annoying. And there's a little button up here. You notice here I clicked here. This is. Uh, this is where you can go ahead and uh, always translate uh, the Chinese. So it's basically going to translate for you. So at least you can see some English. It doesn't translate everything, but it translates some stuff. But this is a good website to, to play around with. And if you start finding some products uh, that you might want to stay in the same category or you have a season pixel of something that could be related, um, you can maybe find stuff on here that's not necessarily on Alibaba yet or AliExpress and maybe you'll find some really um, good deals and trending type products on here, okay? So uh, that is one of the other sites. The other one was uh, 1688.com. Let's take a look at that one here. And uh, I had that one pulled up earlier. And uh, very similar to, um, you know, the tabao.com uh, site here. It's a little bit slow. And, uh, yeah. So let's see here. There we go. All right, there we go. And uh, yeah, this is a you know similar type of thing. You, you want to go on here to uh, this little button here, and you want to translate this options, and then translate to Chinese, uh, you know, to English from Chinese, and uh, that should at least give you some stuff to start with. Uh, but the same thing here, you know, same concept. You just want to go in and search, uh, you know, whatever you're looking for, and see if there's some trending type of products. You have different categories over here and whatnot. And uh, these are just like Chinese wholesale sites, like Alibaba for China, okay? So you can definitely find some uh, potential gems in, in here. Um, obviously, you know, the people in China are going to understand this stuff a little bit more than you. If you have a contact over there like I do uh, and you find something you're interested in, I would maybe talk to that person who can maybe translate uh, exactly what the, you know, the words are saying and you can make sure you're getting the right information and whatnot because uh, that can be a little bit hairy. Uh, with the translation and the language barrier. Not always is Google Translate going to give you like the best information. I mean, it's going to do the best it can, but unfortunately it's not perfect. Um, you know, when I translate some of my landing pages into other languages, I always have like a native person read over that landing page just to make sure Google didn't, you know, switch some words around and make it sound weird uh, and make sure it sounds like, you know, flows properly in their language. So, so that's another uh, tactic here for uh, finding products is the Taobao and the 1688.com. And then uh, my next one was uh, contacting your third-party supplier, which I kind of mentioned that already. Uh, I will be working on a list over the next month or so of different third-party suppliers and whatnot that I'm going to be working with that could potentially uh, help you find trending products. Uh, one thing we've done in the past is you know, we find a product, like say, for example, I decide I'm going to go take a run at that um, blackhead vacuum sucker thing, uh, whatever it's called, Comden or whatever, uh, and probably what I would do is hit up my guy over in, in China who speaks English and tell him to hit up a number of suppliers that he works with that sell that particular product and find out if they're selling it at a fairly decent rate. Because if they are selling it um, a lot of orders per day, then you know it's a, a big mover and it's potentially, an, um, it's potentially a winner. And if they're not selling a lot per day, then it might be just something that we're seeing uh, here. One person's just blowing it up and other, everyone else is not. So, you know, it's one of those things that's worth the test. So definitely uh, number three here is make sure you contact those third-party uh, connections you have and uh, warehouses and whatnot over in China and suppliers and find out what they're selling right now, what's hot. And if you have a good relationship with them and you're spending money with them, they're likely going to tell you, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, we're selling a 1000 a day of this product. And then you know that that's a winner and you wouldn't want to go out and test that and see if you can get it working. Uh, but other than that, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today. Uh, I will put together a series of a lot of my spy videos. I'm going to take the crypto stuff off my channel, and I'll put together a new, uh, a new playlist of all the spy videos that I put out recently. Uh, I put some real valuable knowledge um, over the course of the last month in terms of spying on uh, e-com stores, affiliate offers, and whatnot. And uh, I got some more to come, so uh, don't, don't worry. And if you uh, like today and you do uh, enjoy the content, I would appreciate a comment below and let me know uh, your thoughts on spying. If you have something that I should check out, I'd love to hear it. And if you're new to the channel, leave me a comment below. I'd like to welcome you to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, 
uh, go ahead and subscribe. And if you haven't liked this video, please like the video and uh, bang the notifications bell. I am the Marketing Meathead. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.